I've got another story for you today, so I want you to find a comfy spot to sit and enjoy listening to Brontorina by James Howie. So the main character is Brontorina, and I want you to look at the picture right in the front. And what can you tell about the main character from the illustration? What do you notice about the adult and the children? So together, they're going to show and tell about a dinosaur who wants to dance and people who try to help her achieve her goal. So what problems do you guys imagine a dinosaur would have who wants to dance? So you're going to watch for those problems in the story and how people help her solve her problems. So here we go. We're on to Rena. This is going to be a good one. Brontorina had a dream. I want to dance. And this says Madame Lucelle's Dance Academy for Girls and Boys. Hmm. So look at the teacher and the students' faces. What do you think that they are thinking right now? But you are a dinosaur, Madame Lucelle pointed out. True, Brontorina replied, but in my heart, I am a ballerina. She is too big and she does not have the right shoes. So a ballerina is a ballet dancer. What are the problems here? Madame Lucelle wondered what to do. She had never had a dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large, and this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Clara and Jack tugging at her skirt. Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucelle looked into the dinosaur's eyes. What is your name, dear? Brontorina, Brontorina, Apatosaurus. I even sound like a dancer, don't you agree? Madame Lucelle did agree. How could she not? So what do you think Madame Lucelle will do? What do you think she'll do? Welcome to Madame Lucelle's Dance Academy for Girls and Boys, she said. Please try not to squash the other dancers. Music, Magdalena, she commanded the piano player. As Magdalena began to play, Madame Lucelle turned her commands to her students. So what do you think command means? It means that she ordered them. When she commands, she says things in a strong way. It's just the pictures on this page. Pile. <laughs> Cute. Uh oh. Abresk. Jete. She's giving some commands right now to all of her students. And look at the look what's happening in those pictures. Oh dear. What a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucelle exclaimed. Brontorina blushed. On the outside, I am a dinosaur, but in my heart, you are a ballerina, cried Clara and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. In the weeks that followed, help! Hey, watch your tail! The piano! Oh, Brontorina, cried Madame Lucelle. I'm afraid you're too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit in my studio. And how in the world will you, will a male dancer ever lift you over his head? I could do it, Jack shouted. No, my dear, said Madame Lucelle with a sigh. You could not. I told you she was too big. A tear fell from Brontorina's eye. Downcast, she turned to leave. What do you think the word downcast means? She's pretty sad, feeling pretty sad right now. Wait, Clara called out. Don't go, my mother has been working on a surprise for you all week, Brontorina. She is bringing it today. Whatever are you talking about, Madame Lucelle asked Clara. Just then, Clara's mother appeared at the door. You must be Brontorina, she said, holding out the surprise. I hope these will fit. Well, now she has the right shoes. 
Bronterina beamed. They fit perfectly, she cried. I am a ballerina, or I would be, if only I weren't so big. Oh, fiddlesticks, said Madame Lucelle. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you are too big. The problem is that my studio is too small. So how do you guys think she feels about having these shoes? That's pretty awesome. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio big enough to hold all of Bronterina's talent. Too small, too small. Still too small, still too small. <gasps> I have an idea. Now, Madame Lucelle's Dance Academy has room for everyone. Madame Lucelle's Outdoor Dance Academy for girls, boys, and dinosaurs. I wanna dance. Then you must, my dear. Oh, and the cow added a little thing that says, and cows. Shoes of all sizes. So what do you think about her new dance academy, you guys? <laughs> and it all began with a dream. Oh, that was a fun story. I love that. Bronterina. Okay, you guys, you've got some jobs to do on Seesaw. I hope you enjoyed the story. I look forward to hearing all about what you read on Epic or Read to Self. And I miss all of your smiling faces. Bye, guys.